a civil society organization, Action Aid Nigeria has taxed Nigerians to take measures to cut plastic waste in their communities. They say plastic, when not disposed of properly, could seriously harm the ecosystem and negatively impact on the lives of humans and animals. Some members of the organization made this known as they took an awareness walk to sensitize citizens on the dangers poor disposal of plastic could pose their environment. As much as possible, we should reuse plastic that we have within our space. We should recycle, we should repurpose, and we should even refuse from the market point to say, Malan, this okra I'm buying or this provision I'm buying, I have my own bag brought from home. We are urging government to ensure that we have more efficient ways to ensure that the waste collected within the neighborhood is processed properly in such a way that we can select and sort this out. We have biodegradable waste separated, we have plastic separated, and we have other organic waste separated in such a way that we can convert this waste into wet and manage all of this very, very well. We have an army of young people that are unemployed and this waste that we think constitutes nuisance can fetch them uh, earnings and ensure that they are productively engaged to ensure that as much as possible they try their hands on green economy that can further provide more jobs for other young people. We've joined the climate uh, campaign climate justice campaign and we're going to continue with sensitization, talking to traditional rulers, talking to household health, heads of household. How do we work around ensuring that we manage our refuse disposal properly in such a way that it doesn't become a menace in the society? So this is something we want to carry forward. Uh, today is just the kickoff because today is the World Environment Day. We have other initiatives and actually as a federation has kicked into this uh, climate justice campaign and we'll continue with this sensitization to ensure that we reuse, we refuse, we reduce plastic pollution in the community and of course think of ways that we can manage our waste especially as we approach the raining seasons. It's very important that we must enter, I um, mean talk to women as well too in the homes. How do they manage their disposals? Teach them how to use single, if there are those that can be reused. We've sensitized people on how to even refuse plastic. If you are going to the market, go with alternatives. And I think one major advocacy we must carry out is what are the alternatives that Nigeria is putting forward? What are we doing as a country to ensure that we are putting in place measures to, to, to enforce all those treaties that we sign on to when we attend several conferences at the, at the global level, we are signatories to so many international treaties. How, what are we doing to enforce them? What are we doing to ensure that we put into practice all the things we learn on our learning visit to other countries to ensure that we beat plastic pollution? How do we refuse? People must go to the market with alternatives. If you are going to the market, go with a bag. If they give you plastic, tell them you do not have. I was carrying a water bottle earlier. If I'm buying a bottle of water, I will open the bottle, they will pour the water for me so that they will don't, I don't take away this plastic and go and discard it anyhow. Proper waste management is something that Action Aid and other uh, environmental focus organizations will carry on because we need to beat this plastic pollution and see how we can contribute our quota towards reducing the uh, menace of flooding in Nigeria and other uh, problems that improper waste management can cause. It's not about Nigeria signing conventions, about Nigeria going to conferences, but we want to see the effect of the conferences in Nigeria. We want community members to be, to be involved. There are, a, there are a lot of opportunities for community women if we ban plastic. We have baskets. Women, they, they weave baskets in the communities. If we, if we, and this is one, of, one solution to plastic, to plastic in Nigeria. So if we ban plastic, encourage the use of baskets, our women in the communities they will benefit. They will be out of this I mean, economic meltdown that, that they have been in from, from, uh, from ages. So um, we use that opportunity, this opportunity to call on government. We also want to, uh, to also um, call on uh, National Orientation Agency to wake up to its own responsibility of enlightening the people. We came here today, I can attest to it that from the head of the park to the least member of the park, they don't know the danger of plastic to the environment. So I can say almost 100% of the people around here are just knowing, uh, are knowing it for the first time. This is just Nyanya. What of other places in, in Abuja? What of other places in Nigeria? What of other communities who are not aware of the danger plastic poses to the community? <laughs>